Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the, war, the valleys of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. Bless you, Lord. Lord. Magnify You're so your good name, God. And we exalt, we exalt you, you, and you, Lord. God. Magnify you. Hallelujah, Thank Lord. You love to everything and everyone, we Jesus. Praise you, we Lord. magnify we you this morning, God. We love you and we honor and we you today, And we come to tell Lord you that you've Hallelujah. been better than good, Lord We came God. to magnify you, Lord. We exalt you and lift and you up this morning, you, Lord God. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In all things, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I tried, cause you've been so good to me. Lord, you are good. You've been so You've good. You've been so good. Better than good. Lord, you Better than good. You've been better than good. I can't, I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. Can't praise, can't praise you enough. Even if I try. if I try, cause you've been so good. So good. To me. So good. You've been so good. Better than good. Lord, you are good. Better than good. You've been better than good. I can't, I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. Can't praise, can't praise you enough. Even if I try. Even if I try. Hallelujah. You've been so good. Good to me, to me. 
say, Lord, Lord, you are good. You've been so good. You've been so good. Better than good. Lord, you are good. Better than good. I try. If I try, cause you've been so good, so good. You've been, you've been so good, so good. You've been, you've been so good, so good to me. So many doors you've opened, so many ways you've made, so many times you've healed me, you've been better than good to me. So many doors you've opened, and so many ways you've made, so many times you've healed me. Been better than good to me. So many doors. So many doors you've opened. I can't count so the ways. So many ways you've made. So many times. So many times you've healed me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. So many doors. So many doors you've opened. I can't count so the ways. So many ways you've made. So many times. So many times you've healed me. You've been better than good to me. Better than good to me. So many doors. So many doors you the countless so ways. So many ways you made. So many times. So many times you healed me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. So many doors. So many doors you opened. So many ways. So many ways you made. So many times. So many times you healed me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. So many doors. So many doors you opened. So many so ways. So many ways you made. So many times. So many times you healed me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. So many doors. So many doors you opened. The countless so ways. So many ways you made. So many times. So many times you healed me. You've been better than good to 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 me. Better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Hallelujah. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Hallelujah. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. Better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You've been so good. You've been so good. You've been so good. Say you've been. You've been so good. Almost lost my mind, God. You've been so good, so good. When the enemy came in like a flood, you've God. You've been so good, so good. When I couldn't see a way, you've been so good, so good. Say you've been, you've been so good. So good.
good, so good to me, to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You've been better than good to me. Your glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord on this day. Amen. And you may be seated if you would, would like to, but you may stand and do whatever you uh, stand if you like to as well. My name is uh, Faiza Bradford. I am a, uh, a part of our clergy team here at this uh, beautiful house, part of our senior leadership team. And I come uh, to say welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to Grace and Truth Apostolic Ministries, which is where we uh, sit uh, even now. And I welcome you on behalf of our senior pastors, Michael and Chantel Miller, in their absence, they send uh, uh, th th their condolences, they send their thoughts and expressions of celebration, they send wonderful, wonderful uh, blessings of comfort and joy, amen? And so uh, they, are, they regret that they were not able to be with us today, but they had already made plans uh, as God was making his plans, amen? And so um, we say welcome, uh, we're here, we are honored. We count it a privilege and an honor to be able to host this homegoing celebration, amen? Because that's what it is, it's a homegoing celebration, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory for a life lived well. Hallelujah, we give God praise, honor, and glory for a, a, for a legacy that has been run well. We give God praise, honor, and glory for, for a life that has, that has done, that, has, that did, and did exactly what God called her to do, amen? She went out and she enlarged the kingdom. She went out and she made disciples, hallelujah. She went out and she preached the good news of the gospel. And for that we say amen. We say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. So consider yourself welcomed in this place. We are family. You are standing on holy ground. Amen. This is uh, our, uh, our, our facility. Some have asked uh, uh, the name. It uh, does still say the uh, Presbyterian Church. We moved into this facility uh, uh, in September, September 8th of this year. We do have service on, set on Sundays at 10 a.m. in the morning, and you are welcome to join us. Amen? I, I was reminded that, that we should always Where's my brother? Give an invitation, amen? And so you are invited, you, you have a standing invitation, amen? And so um, as we just uh, invoke, the, the presence of the Lord is here, amen? Can anybody feel, shut up, hey, the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. The pr I don't know about you, but I brought him in, hallelujah. I wasn't waiting to get amped up. I wasn't waiting, get, waiting here to get, to get here to get pumped up, but I brought the presence of the Lord, and he is with us, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so, Father God, in the blessed, shut up, oh, hey, in the blessed name of the Lamb, God, oh, we say thank you, Lord. God, we say thank you, Father God. God. We thank you for your presence, oh God. Oh, we thank you for your, your the, you are the one true living God. Hallelujah. And God, we give your praise, honor, and glory, oh God, for this day, Father. We thank you for this wonderful homegoing celebration, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us, oh God, to be witnesses, oh God, of a life lived well, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to be participants of your glory, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, as we invite your presence, oh God. God, we ask, oh God, not only will you visit us, oh God, but would you dwell amongst us, God. God, would you, would you rest upon us, oh God. God, we ask, oh God, for your Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide, oh God. God, we ask, oh God, Holy Spirit, to have thine own way, oh God. For we know, God, where your spirit is, oh God, there is liberty, oh God. God, we know that where your spirit is, oh God, there is order, Father. So Lord, we just ask, oh God, for your continued comfort, Father. God, we know that your word tells us, and we trust and believe to be absent from the body is present with the Lord, oh God. God, we thank you, Lord God, that as we miss Dr. Gwyneth Williams 
in body, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that she is present with you, oh God. And that gives us comfort, God. That gives us joy, unspeakable joy, oh God. So God, we just ask that you will move by your spirit, oh God, as we continue to celebrate, as we continue to lift up, as we continue to honor your servant, hallelujah, God. But God, not only did you see her as servant, huh? you see her as daughter. Huh? And God, we believe that your arms are, were wide open when you said, well done, huh? daughter, enter in. <laughs> so Father God, we thank you. God, we thank you. And we allow your Holy Spirit to have thine own way. And it's in Jesus' name that the saint said, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am going to place you in the hands of Reverend Mary Diggs, who will serve as the one that will preside over this service. And I will take my seat and celebrate amongst you. Amen. God bless you. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Oh, it's so wonderful to be in the presence of God's people. And it's an honor, an honor, Star, and a privilege to be here to celebrate the home going of, I say, awesome, an awesome woman of God, a mighty woman of God. Yes, this is a celebration. We all know that, right? Yes. You know, I, I was sitting there thinking about the, the last time I saw Dr. Gwyneth. And um, she was radiant. She was radiant. And as we spent time, Star and I spent time and we ministered to her in song and prayer. And as she received what the Lord was giving out, you know, his, his anointing, more of his spirit. And as she rested in, in the bosom of the Lord, even while there in the restorative care. God is so good. He is so very good. And I just want to say to Star and, and to the family, you know, I know from our humanness, God has created us to be in relationship with one another, and most importantly, in relationship with him. But in our humanness, he has given us the ability to grieve. Because grieving brings about healing. And in this process, while we celebrate the, the life of Dr. Gwyneth, it's, um, we're also missing her because she filled the room. She filled our lives. And every place that she went, and she went so many places, that she took in the word of God. She changed lives by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. And as someone said earlier, adding to the kingdom of God, so I will say to you, Star, especially, because I know that you and Mom, Dr. Gwyneth, were so very close. And you don't find that kind of closeness in every family. So one, give yourself permission to grieve. Because in that process, 
God will pour out in you such an anointing, an anointing for empathy and compassion that when you walk into the room of someone else who has gone home to be with the Lord and he wants to minister to you, when you walk into the room of someone else who has gone to be with the Lord and their family, you pass on to them the anointing, not only of peace and of joy, but the permission to grieve because there will be no healing and there will be no joy without grieving. And to all of us that are here today, we came to celebrate. We came to celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do our best to follow the program. But most importantly, we're going to follow the Holy Spirit. Amen. Are you with me? <laughs> All right. So we just thank Sister Faisha Bradford for that wonderful welcome and prayer. At this time, we're going to ask Pastor Constance, Constance to come with Isaiah 58 and 12, our scripture, followed by a um, musical selection by Pastors Tammy and Gerald Jackson. So if you will come as we've shared. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> when we were in D.C., one night with Dr. Gwyneth, the Lord woke me up and said, life is in the Word. Life is in the Word of God. So we are going to read the Word of God. Isaiah 58, 12 says, I'm reading in King James Version. It says, as they that shall be of thee shall build the old west places, thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the branch, the restorer of parts to dwell in. Amen? And the New Living Translation says, Some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities. Then you will be known as a builder of walls and this, as a restorer of homes. Praise the Lord. The next word of God we are reading is in John 12, John 14, 12, excuse me. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works. Everybody say greater works. Hallelujah. And the greater works than this shall he do. Because... I go unto my Father. Amen? And that is Jesus speaking to us. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. God bless the family. Amen. Star. Amen. All the ministries, ministry staff that's here. Praise God. Um, 
thank God for the opportunity to come here. It's an honor. We've known Dr. Gwen, man, for over 20-some years. And I can think back to when they were doing uh, ministry at, it was uh, um, on Rainier Ave, the mission. And um, her and Pop, Pop Clark was here then, too. And that's how we met them. It was a trio. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I can say this, that they have always had a heart for souls. It was always about the lost. And the, the look that you see on Dr. Gwen's face on this picture, man, that was her when she was witnessing, to somebody, witnessing bringing somebody into the kingdom. It was always about, did you tell them about Jesus? Did you share the gospel? Did you share the good news? And, you know, as you look at the beautiful uh, memorial they did put together here with all the pictures and stuff. This is her and Star's life. Amen. We can bear witness from them starting off on Rainier. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord some praise because the consistency and you see the word legacy on here. Amen. Dr. Gwen, we can say she's like Apostle Paul. She said she's finished her course. She kept the faith. And as the word says, henceforth has been laid up for her the crown of life with the righteous judge will give them at that day. Amen. So this is a celebration service. We, we just want to um, honor um, Dr. Gwen for her life, man, and just the, the impact that it made on our life, just to encourage us to go out and evangelize. And let me share this with everybody that's here. We got to get out of the mindset of just being in the four walls that that's only ministry. You know, I was sharing this yesterday with a young lady that I work with, and I said, everywhere Jesus went, he was still Jesus. He didn't have to have the perfect environment. The perfect building. Amen. Because when he showed up, the kingdom showed up. Amen. The presence and power of God showed up. So God wants to encourage each one of you, whatever your platform is that God's given you, that's your place for doing kingdom work and ministry. Share the gospel. Love on somebody. Amen. As Dr. Gwen's gone home, amen, we were there with start praying and just praying and believing, but we know that she's with God. If you look at that picture on the back, I love it with her and dad. They're reunited right now. And the Holy Spirit just quickened me with the song, one of these old mornings. You're going to look for me and I'll be gone. I'm going to a place where Sunday will have no end. And, and we'll just walk around, walk around heaven all day. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to sing the song. But God just gave me that vision. That's where she's at. Amen. And as, as we're celebrating her life today, it's not a sad thing. This is the best upgrade that any of us will ever have on the other side of eternity. Out of time into eternity. That's the best upgrade. Amen. Hallelujah. But I thank God for her life. I thank God for the legacy. I thank God for Ambassador Starr. Amen. Be encouraged, woman of God, family. Amen. Be encouraged. She's with the Lord right now. She's celebrating. No more pain. No more sickness. None of that. She's, she's got on her heavenly robe. You know, we can't wear white that's going to mimic what they got on in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. But praise God for her. Praise God for you, Ambassador Starr. You got the mantle now. Amen. And you just keep running with Jesus. Amen. Family, y'all keep running with Jesus. Amen. We, we love you. And um, my wife, she's going to minister this song. Amen. Homegoing. Um, home going. Amen. Amen. This is a celebration, and this is beautiful. Um, God bless you, Apostle Star. And I want to share the verse. Star. Amen. Amen. Before she goes to the song, 1 Thessalonians 4.13. For I do not want you to sorrow, brethren, concerning Amen. those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as those who have no hope. No hope. Amen. Today we have hope. Hallelujah. Amen. In Hallelujah. Jesus. Father, I bless your name. You can Hallelujah. play that song. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. When you hear of my home go in. Hey, don't you worry about me 
when you hear of my home going. Oh, I don't want y'all to worry about me. When you hear of my home going, you're going to hear about it one day. Don't y'all worry about me, because I'm all right. I'm just another soldier. Hey, Lord, I'm going home. One thing I know. I've been born again I've made preparation One Friday Because of Lord I didn't know when You would call home it would be my time to go on. Hey, I'm all fixed up. Hey, Lord, I'm going home. When you hear of my home going, you know that I'm all right. Don't you worry about me. Don't worry when you hear of my home going. Mm, I don't want y'all to worry about me. When you hear of my home going, don't y'all worry about me. I'm alright. See, I'm just another soldier hey yeah. Lord I'm going home one thing I know oh, I know I've been born again I made preparation one Friday because the Lord I didn't know when you would call it would be my time to go I'm all fixed up hey Lord I'm going home when you hear of my home going, y'all, you're going to hear about it one day, but don't y'all worry about me. I'm all right. See, I'm just another soldier. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, I'm going home. When you hear of my home going see everybody gotta go one day don't stop worry about me because i'll be all right and my name's written in the last book of life i'm just another soldier yeah 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 lord i'm going home hallelujah hallelujah she has her around give god praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I know that that song reflects what we are celebrating today because we know that Dr. Gwyneth is in, in the original home. She is uh, in the home away from home. She's at home with her daddy. Yes, she is. And as I was uh, sitting there thinking, 
the scripture that reminds me so much of Dr. Gwyneth, Matthew 25, when the king says, to those on his right, come you who, have, who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For when I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. And I think about Dr. Gwyneth as she fed so many who were hungry. She went and took the food to them and fed them. I wasn't there, but her story, her service was known all over. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. That's who she was. She embodied these words. I think about last year when she came to on a sab uh, sabbatical, a respite. And we were so blessed to have my husband and I have her stay at our home, her and Star. And it was such a blessing to be a blessing to one of God's own. The scripture says, I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. I want you to think about where were you when you met Dr. Gwyneth? What were you doing? What word of God did she share with you? Because I know she shared a word or a song. That's who she was, as she was that great ambassador for God, moving and enlarging his kingdom here on earth. We want to thank Pastor Constance, Pastors Tan Tani and Gerald Jackson. We'll next have resolutions of letters by Sister Ali, Ali Messiah, followed by a selection by Darlene Shadwick. And if you'll come in that order. Praise God. I need this. Okay, I'm going to need it. Okay. Praise God. Well, this wonderful, glorious time and celebration has brought many, many tributes and letters and cards and, and um, too many to read all this morning. Let's, we'll just be here till this afternoon, <laughs> late in the day. I'm going to read some. And then we'll continue to have the more of them downstairs at the, uh, at the repast. So this is February 4th, 2020. To Star, your mother was a part of a group of friends who have been together for over 50 years. Nikki, Mona, Madis, and Terry. We grew up as friends from our childhood into adulthood in the Indianapolis, Indiana area of 40th and Boulevard Place. Um, this was our neighborhood. My memory, many memories and thousands of stories to be told. When was the challenger of us? We go to dances, parties, social events, we went, where, we went, where is Gwen and what's up next? But it was one for all and all for one. Gerbils, hamsters, dogs, Charlie, Champ, King, and JJ, and various other animals were a part of our lives. 
Gwen would have made a great veterinarian, but her mission in life stayed the same, helping and saving lives through our Savior Jesus Christ. With the many things mentioned, I say, rest on my, my dear friend, Ms. from Nikki Farita Tyler. Legacy, life and legacy of Dr. Gwen. Few times in my life have I seen the kind of faith and passion that existed in the life of Dr. Gwen, um, Gwen Williams. My wife, Deborah, and I knew her for over 40 years. Not one time did I hear a negative word come out of her mouth. She loved God. She loved people. And she loved her daughter, Star. Her view was the, was the world, and her ears were always tuned into God's voice. Never once did I say, did she say, I can't go. We don't have the money, or it's too far. She would respond, yes, Lord, and go. She was given an assignment to the one and, on, to the one and only Dad Clark, and her and Star would love him and care for him for years and years. They went all over the world together in faith, a dynamic trio of God. I called them generations. Dad made home, uh, Dad went home at 109, and now Gwen has gone to her eternal reward. Perhaps in our minds, too early. But, not, but nonetheless, she is resting in the arms of Almighty God. Now, Star, you must continue on with the mighty calling of God on your life. God will be with you, and a double portion of God's spirit will come upon you. Many will come along beside you, and you will never lack from this day forward. March to the march to the heart God march to the heartbeat of God and know that every desire of your heart will be fulfilled. You will know the voice of your mother heard now. It is yours to, to hear and respond. That is let his yes be yes and his no be no. Pastor Debbie, and I love you, and I'm standing with you, Bishop Gary McIntosh. Amen. This is um, from Dr. Williams, president of Oral Roberts University, William, Dr. William Wilson. Dear Miss Williams, the Oral Roberts University family was deeply saddened to hear of the passing of one of the most outstanding alumni, Dr. Gwyneth Williams. She went, she, we want to offer our sincere condolences to her daughter, Star, and to the countless members of the extended family all around the world. We will want to honor Dr. Gwyneth for everything she accomplished, uh, accomplished on this earth I'm sure you could fill several books with stories about her life, about the lives she's touched. By all accounts, she was one of the rare people who knew from early on what God was calling her to do. And she was a hard, was, and she was a hard worker. It takes focus, stamina, to earn three degrees, train missions, worked um, to serve in dozens of nations, minister to the homeless, write books, and spread the gospel in 34 countries. At ORU, our goal is to prepare students to serve God in every, person, in every person's world. That is certainly what Gwyneth did. Both together and after she arrived on this on our campus to pursue her Master's of Divinity degree and a Doctor's of Ministry degree, she was an educator and a leader that 
others looked up to. Most of all, I believe she was someone you could call on when you needed prayer. She was blessed to have a father who was an incredible man of God, Bishop Otis G. Clark, and a daughter who we, who we know will continue her mother's and grandfather's work. This is no doubt with Gwyneth's faith. This is no doubt that Gwyneth's, Gwyneth's faith was strong. She was full of the Holy Spirit and wanted nothing more than to see others tap into his power and live the life, of God, live the life that God wants for all of us. We mourn with all of you at the loss of this precious godly woman, and yet we know she is not lost. She is exactly where she has been headed all along, and exactly where we will meet her, meet, meet, with, meet up with her again before too long. God bless you, Star, and know that we are praying for God to comfort you as only he can. Dr. Dr. Williams Wilson. Okay, a couple more. I want, excuse me, I was one of the number of people who had the privilege and the honor to intercede for Dr. Um, Gwen the last five months of her life via prayer teleconference call, having, having met her star and Bishop um, Otis Clark only once at a church where they were invited to as guest speakers. I sensed the love and the respect they had for each other as a family, three generations. I sensed the relationships they shared with each other as an extension of the relationship that they had individually with God and his covenant. The prayer con call had set, time, had set times during the day, and each of us had total liberty to call in and pray. Dr. Gwen would listen in, with, in, listen in with her earbuds as time would allow and amidst, amidst her physical therapy rehabilitation. We saw her strength and mobility increase as well as, as shared moments of emotions as Dr. Gwyneth responded to our voices. We even, go, we even got to walk the aisles of the rehabilitation facility with Dr. Gwyneth and Starr while the prayer con called um, wheel, her mom and in the wheelchair for the first time. What a joyous time that was as God allowed us to witness an answer to, an answer to our prayers for Dr. Gwen. Many of us on the prayer con call never met before, but love and respect we, um, we shared for Dr. Gwen and Starr became the instrument by which we found unity in, in conventional relationship with each other and God. We experienced the reality of God, his word, his love, his authority, and his sovereignty in ways beyond our understanding. We know the spirit of God within Dr. Gwen was causing us to excel in the things that God just, in the things, in the things of God, just as she taught and lived. We continue to pray and intercede daily on the prayer con call and reflect on the life of Dr. Gwen. She may be with us any, um, she may not be with us any longer in the physical realm, but her spirit will be in, in our lives and in our hearts and our minds. Thank you, Dr. Gwen and Pastor Starr for the life you imparted and continue to impart. Rosie, Rosie Bring, Bingham. February 7th. Since the time Risa and I met Dr. Gwen about 10 years ago, she invited us into her world and made us feel like family. In Dr. Gwen's world, you never felt white. She, she did not just carry the message of racial, racial reconciliation. She lived 
the life of recon racial reconciliation in all respects. From the beginning, my wife recognized the values and the treasures that were experienced in Dr. Gwen's family. And as Dr. Gwen extended invitations to us to be a part of her busy ministry life um, when they were in Dallas, in the Dallas area, we chose to interrupt our normal schedule to be at those meetings. They turned into an open invitation and an, for, for her and, and Ambassador Starr to stay in our home when they were in town as, <clears throat> as any family would do. And so we have the opportunity to see her live in, in the, both in ministry and in private world. And let us tell you, there was always a consistency of both. She was constantly devoted to God's work that he had for purpose for her in her life. And that included her daily private devotions that were the fuel of her ministry and the zeal and the love that had to see rate, um, racial reconciliation become manifested in the world she lived in. And over the last five months, we have joined together with the friends all across the world and at the nation and the world to keep the fire of the round the clock prayer vigil burning. I have experienced the power of what true reconciliation can accomplish. I have never felt such unity and so many, um, with so many brothers and sisters and I have, oh, as I have over the last um, months of in the session for Dr. Gwen. And wouldn't it be fitting that a woman who embodied the ideal of racial reconciliation would cause us to draw together a racial unity with one purpose in mind, which was to see Dr. Gwen fully restored to the glory of God. I have honored and privileged to know and love the amazing woman of God. My life has been enriched and forever changed because a small part of her heart for racial reconciliation is now alive in me. I can say with the confidence that Dr. Gwen completed the purpose and plan that God had for her life in her generation and we are all the more complete as believers in the Christ because of her. Ambassador Starr, I want you to know that your home is all, that our home is always open to you in the future as, as it was to you and your, um, your mom in the past. We love you and, we're, our, and we are here to help support you. Shalom, shalom, Lee Warren. So one last resolution. Praise God. And this is from um, POCAN. This is the agency I've been working with for, for the past 30 years. And when um, um, a number of years ago, when living in Seattle, also worked um, at POCAN doing their faith-based work. So this is a resolution of respect and loving memory of Dr. Gwen Williams. It's tough to say goodbye to a person so valued in our community. Your absence is going to be so subdued. It's hard to bid farewell to a person so respected. Without you, we feel so deserted. Our grief at des deserted at our grief at our loss is never ending but we draw comfort from the knowledge that you have found a safe refuge in the Lord and in our hearts as we say goodbye. Whereas Dr. Gwen Williams, former staff member of POCAN, served gracefully through the HIV outreach community awareness has passed from, the li from this life on January 25th, 2020. And whereas the death of Dr. Gwen does not diminish the profound benediction of her life in such godly service, not nor our admiration 
of the affection of Dr. Gwen Williams. And whereas Dr. Gwen Williams faithfully attended God's most urgent admonition to follow in the footsteps of the righteous, seek justice in all circumstances, we care for the sick and care for and, and care for the least among us as if they were the dearest. And whereas Dr. Gwen Williams was an activist and provided HIV education in the faith community for several years and freely gave of her time and energy, whereas Dr. Gwen Williams, our beloved, embraced um, the all-forgiving presence of, of God who from early day, earliest days and strove to exhibit that same quality of quality of compassion throughout the exemplar, throughout and exemplify, the, exemplify her life. And whereas Dr. Williams' legacy of faith and service put into action will continue to inspire love and every member of the POCAN team. And there and therefore be it resolved that we wish all who are now in mourning to take comfort from the immortal words of the world of, of the of the words of the great poet Gabriel Garan. If you would indeed behold the spirit of death upon your heart, wide unto the body of life, for life and death are one. Even in the river and the sea are one even as the river and the sea are one. For what is it to die but to stand naked in the wind and to melt into the sun? And what is it to cease breathing but to free, but to free the breath from the restless tides that it may rise and expand and seek God's uncumbered? And when the earth shall claim your limbs, then shall you truly dance. Therefore, be it forever resolved that we bow a great bow to a greater will than our own and rest in the knowledge that one day we will be united with again in joy and in the fullness of God's mercy. Humbly submitted in faith and appreciation for the gift of our time with Dr. Gwen Williams on Friday, February 7, 2020. Pocan is board and directors, acknowledged by Stephen R. Sawyer, our executive director. And those are just a few. <laughs> it took some time, but um, great works means great, great things. Um, and we thank everyone who has submitted um, um, cards and letters and resolutions and all and again we can't read them all but there, we will have them downstairs and read some more God bless you she touched a lot of lives and it's so great to see this and to know that it still goes on and it's going to continue to go on so Star I just want to tell you I love you I thank you for you and your mom and for what you did in my life. Amen. Okay. <sighs> They're supposed to turn on the, the, um, the song. We shall behold him. Okay. Up a little louder, please. The sky, the sky shall unfold, preparing his entrance. The stars shall applaud him with thunder and praise and the sweet light in his eyes shall 
Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Mm. I don't know about you, but that's my anthem. We shall behold him. And I can imagine that there have been many times that Dr. Gwyneth sang that song. And now she's saying, I am beholding him. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, praise be to God.